Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to unbox the brand new Nexus 7. Last year Google released the Nexus 7, and this is their follow-up product, and it has some pretty impressive specs, and it's only 229, and there's a 16 gigabyte model, and then there's a $269, 32 gigabyte model. This is actually the 16 gigabyte. Let's open it up here. Now it can be ordered from Google Play, you can buy it from Best Buy, Staples. Uh, let's see here, we have this little sticker. This is made by Asus, and Google says it is the highest resolution 7-inch tablet available. It comes with Android 4.3, so it should be really nice, nice and up to date. You can see here's the tablet itself, pretty small, I can hold it pretty easily in one hand, and that's because they've narrowed the bezel. We'll take a little bit closer look at that in a moment. This is the tablet, pop the top off here, it comes with an AC wall adapter. And then we have Nexus 7, warranty and safety, kind of a quick how-to guide to turn it on, press and hold for a few seconds. You can see it says it has NFC in the back, which is nice for wireless charging or using NFC. Then we have a micro USB to USB adapter for charging or syncing. So we'll set the box aside and take a look at the tablet. They've wrapped it just like Apple wraps their devices with this kind of clear cellophane type material. Now in tradition with the first Nexus tablet, it has a rubberized back, super thin. You can see it's, it's pretty impressively thin. And then we have our power button here, volume, looks like maybe a microphone right here. On the back, we have a five megapixel rear facing camera that records 1080p video. And then on the front, we have a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera. So that's pretty nice. They've added the rear camera on this one. You can see it's not centered though. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's not centered. It's over here. And then the display itself is really the most impressive part. It's a 720, actually it's a 1080p 1920 by 1200 HD display. It actually has 323 pixels per inch in a seven inch piece of display or glass and it has Corning Gorilla Glass on it. It's pretty light. It, it comes in at about half a pound actually. It's uh, 0 0.64 pounds or 290 grams. It also comes available later on with LTE. Now you can see on this side we sh showed you that. It says Nexus, Asus who makes this. On the bottom we have a micro USB port. We has also have stereo speakers. It actually has stereo no matter what orientation you hold it in. There's speakers over here as well. You've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up here and that's pretty much it. So the tablet itself is really nice. Like I said it has some really impressive specs. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro 1.5 gigahertz. It also has an Adreno 320 GPU with 400 megahertz. This is clock speed. It has dual band Wi-Fi, a, B, G, and N. It also has Android 4.0, or I'm sorry, NFC with Android Beam and Bluetooth 4.0 uh, built into the back. So it will wirelessly charge and you can use it to tap other phones or whatever you want to do with it. We'll boot it up here. When the actual later model comes out with LTE, it will support just about every 4G LTE band, although the price is about $100 more or so. You can see that booted up really quickly. I'll show you that in another video, the first setup, things like that. We'll take a closer look at the display, see what it's like, but overall, it's really impressively thin. There is no case that I have for it. I found on their website they actually have a sleeve available, but it's not available yet, so I'm not sure when that will be. But it should be impressive. It has GPS and a compass built in, a gyroscope, accelerometer. So even without the LTE, we should be able to use it as a GPS. So it should be really nice to use. I'm very impressed with how thin and light it is. Really nice to hold on to. Pretty thick bezel right here, uh, but thinner over here. We'll take a little closer look at the first startup in another video, but if you have any questions or comments, please place those in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.